Right, let's look at example 23. Example 23 is exactly the same as example uh, 22, but this time round the seats are being numbered from 1 to 9. Okay, how is this question different from the earlier one? Okay, it's different because of the fact that if you look at B1 here, now it's seated at seat number 1. If I were to change his position, or rather every single one of the position rightwards by one seat, then B1 is going to take this position, having seat 2, which is different from where he seated earlier, which is seat 1. But for the earlier case, if we don't have all this number, a change in seat 1 unit to the right will be the same situation when I do not change the position. Alright, so that's the effect of having seat number 1 to 9, which means that now I need to account for these numbered seats. So therefore, for part A, I'm going to take the early answer for part A, multiply by 9 to account for the numbered seats, giving us this as the answer. Alright, for part B, it's the same case, I need to multiply by 9 in order for me to get the answer giving us this as the answer. Alright, so I hope that you all can see the difference between example 22 and example 23.